Hello YouTubers, how's it going? So today we are going to learn how to create a Cortex Analyst, which is a tool in Snowflake, a part of Cortex AI ecosystem, which can write and execute SQL on top of your tables and databases to bring back data for you. Then we are going to create a Cortex Agent in which we'll add that Cortex Analyst and use this Cortex Agent inside of Snowflake Intelligence to chat with the tool in natural language and ask it to bring back data for us. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is navigate to your Snowflake homepage and then navigate to the AI and ML tab and navigate to Cortex Analyst. Then you're going to create a new semantic view. A semantic view is the blueprint of your tables and databases, the fields in your tables, the joins, the relationships within that the AI LLM model of Cortex Analyst can refer to to write those SQL queries we are talking about. So go ahead and name your semantic view. I'm going to name it bike store analyst and go ahead and give it a small description. Something like the semantic view connects sales, orders, products, brands, customers, and additional data for the bike store analysis. Then it's going to ask you to select the tables and data that you're going to use to create the semantic view. So I'm going to go ahead and select my bike store sales schema and then select all of these tables as I'm going to need all of them to create my semantic view. Hit next. Then it's going to ask you what columns are you interested in taking from all of these tables. So I'm going to go ahead and select all columns from all tables. Now an important thing is that if you do not need all columns or if you do not need all tables, it's better to avoid having them in the semantic view. The lesser, the better for it to give you accurate answers. Create and save. Now, what's amazing is that Snowflake will go ahead and create the semantic view for you. It's going to list all the tables that you selected. It's going to give it AI generated definitions. It's going to categorize its columns into dimensions, facts, time dimensions, metrics, etc. And you can choose to edit these if you think it made some mistakes and that's perfectly fine. What's also interesting is that you can define relationships as well as metrics. So for example, there's a formula generating revenue. You can mention that in here. There's tables that join with each other based on certain relationships. You can mention that in here and it's sort of like a drag and drop interface for you to define those things. Uh, you can select the left table. You can select the right table. You can select the columns that the tables actually join on. One thing that you have to keep in mind is that if you're wanting to define relationships all the way at the bottom, you're going to have to make sure that you have selected the primary key inside the tables that you define the relationships for. And there's more. You can also define verified queries where you can enter your question and define the queries that the Cortex Analyst generates and edit them and make sure that the SQL is accurate for a couple examples so the Cortex Analyst understands exactly how to write the SQL queries for your tables in your specific use cases. Now, for the sake of simplicity, what I'm gonna do is use the super cool feature called Edit YAML. So this is truly the actual semantic view that you're creating through the drag and drop interface. And I have created a bunch of my own semantic YAML definitions and I'm gonna go ahead and copy them in here and that works. So it's gonna process it for a second and seems like it accepted it. So I just click on exit YAML editor and now I go ahead and take a look at all the relationships that were part of my YAML model and then also certain additional verified queries that I gave as examples to the semantic view itself. So we're very close to getting this done and now we're gonna go ahead and click save and there you go. So your semantic view has now been created. The next step is to create an agent. But before we get to that, it's important for you to understand that the agent is only being created so that we can use this Cortex Analyst inside of Snowflake Intelligence. But just right now, 
you can go ahead and take a look at the playground for the semantic view that you just created and you can start chatting with it to make sure that it's working fine and if you need to refine anything so for example give me top 10 products it's going to write the query run the query give me the answer and if i think that this is something that's working well then i'm going to go ahead and accept uh, the cortex analyst and save it now let's go ahead and create an agent to do that what you're going to do is go back to your snowflake homepage, go to ai and ml studio and jump over to agents inside of agents you got to click at create an agent name your agent something like bike store analyst 2 i'm going to name it 2 because i already have one and then the display name could be something like sales analyst agent and go ahead and click create now you're going to have to provide a small description for what this agent is going to do this agent assess web generating ad hoc analysis for bike store sales you can enter some example questions like give me the top and bottom five customers by order value then you can add another question and say something like give me top selling brands by quantity sold etc now, once you're done with that, you want to hop over to tools and now you add the Cortex Analyst that we just created in here. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to select the database that you created it in. So it's going to be the Snowflake Learning DB and then the schema is Bike Store Sales. Semantic View becomes an object that lives in the schema that you created the Semantic View for. So you can go ahead and select the Semantic View that we just now created and then give it a user-friendly name something like bike store analyst what's super cool is that you can use the generate with cortex feature to generate the description for your semantic tool and the way it's going to do that it's going to skim through the yaml file that you've created and it's going to generate the definition for you on the fly it's pretty cool and it does a really good job at it and there you go so it created the description for you and looks like it did a pretty good job at it. Now you can choose to enter the timeout for the query that the Cortex Analyst will write for the user. The maximum is 300 seconds, but for some reason, if you want to restrict it further than that, go ahead and type in any timeout in seconds and then just click on add. Now that's it. Your tool has been added inside of Cortex Analyst. There's additional options for you to add custom tools. You can define procedures and UDFs inside Snowflake that get called through the natural language chatting with the AI chatbot. Or you can define a Cortex search service, which would be your knowledge base and your vector embeddings. And you can ask questions regarding the documentation, uh, let's say the policies at the bike store for HR, something like that. So you can also now jump over to orchestration and choose the model that you want to use. Some of these models are not available in all regions. So you may want to do a little bit of trial and error or go to the Snowflake documentation guide and understand which model is available in your region. I'm going to leave it at auto. You can choose to add some orchestration instructions, um, how the agent reasons through tasks, chooses the right tools and sequence actions. Uh, you can also set rules for how sh the agent should sound and respond to users. Um, I'm just going to say, it sounds like a sales analyst. Then you jump over to access. Now, this is important. So if you want to share this with uh, people in your organization, you're going to have to create uh, roles that have access to specific agents. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And that's actually all that there is to this. So what we're going to do now, instead of using it here with our example questions, we're going to go ahead and jump over to Snowflake Intelligence. And when we do that, you can now go ahead and take a look at the agents that you have. And this is the one that we just recently created. So let's go back to the actual chat and select the agent that we had just now created and ask it one of the example questions that you had decided to ask it or ask it anything for that matter. And if it exists inside your tables and databases and you've defined the semantic model well, it will be able to write the SQL query on the fly, run it, give you the analysis, and imagine the kind of power this gives your executives who want to do ad hoc analysis every single day, then make important business decisions that guarantee the success of your organization. So there you go. You can see that it was able to give us the data in the table form and also a chart on top of that data and how cool is that you can actually go back up 
take a look at show details and you can take a look at the SQL query that it wrote for the analysis that you asked it. It's an amazing feature inside of Snowflake. I really hope that you try it out. If there's any additional questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. As soon as possible, I'll put a link in there for all the resources that I used. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It helps me put out more content for you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.